Hi friends, I am John Laspina, the carnivore teacher, and I got a video idea when I attended the Low Carb USA a Symposium for Metabolic Health. It was right here in my hometown in Boca, and I met a gentleman named Vic, who I have been following on Twitter and Facebook. What a nice guy, and he gave me an idea for a topic. And I stopped immediately in the middle of our conversation, and that's how I get my ideas, by the way. I, I type them in or I push the microphone and I say them in my phone, because I'll forget. And then when it's time to make my videos, I kind of make a bunch at once. That's why I always wear the same shirt. This is from Dr. Ken Berry, The Proper Human Diet. He coined that phrase. He made these t-shirts. Yes, I bought a t-shirt from somebody because I so strongly believe in the proper human diet, which is what my channel also is what it's all about, is eating the proper foods for great nutrition. So anyway, this idea that uh, Vic gave me an idea to do for this video is what are your triggers? The triggers that make you fall off the bandwagon of good nutrition. So if you're, if you're a keto person or a ketovore or a carnivore, or if you're just low carb and you have a lot of other things that have some carbs and you're just counting carbs, something triggers you, oh my gosh, I have to have that cheesecake. And when you see it, it triggers you. When you taste it, it triggers you and you go down the road of eating more and more carbs. When you identify your trigger, know, your, know thyself. When you identify your trigger, then you can do things to stay away from those things that, that take you down the road that mess you up, all right? I'm gonna tell you what my triggers are. My triggers, number one, I'm an addict to sugar, period. Uh, and, and it can even be a, a, like a monk fruit or a stevia or even an allulose. It tastes sweet on my taste buds. Doesn't matter whether it affects my glycemic index or causes insulin to be released. It's sweet. It's in my brain. I want more. I want more and more and more. And it doesn't matter. I can eat more and more and more until the point where I hurt myself and I'll keep doing it. That's the definition of addiction. When you have an unhealthy relationship with something, but you keep doing it, even though it harms you, you can't stop. That's addiction. So my trigger for that addiction is anything that has a sweet taste to it. If I have something that has a little bit of sweet taste, then I'm gonna to eat too much of that product and that's gonna pull me up past my carb count and I'm gonna put, put on weight that's not healthy. So my trigger, the way I deal with my sugar craving trigger is I stay away from even artificial sweeteners. Okay, I used to do the monk fruit. I tried the stevia. I was doing allulose for a while because I heard all these wonderful things about it. And it is, allulose is a really cool uh, sugar that, that that's actually healthy and it does all these great things, but for me, Sweet things are my trigger. And even if I have allulose sweetened in something, it's going to make me want too much of it. I can't stop thinking about it. What is your trigger? What food or taste or maybe event, it could be anything, triggers you into doing something that's harmful to yourself by eating too much of it? Some people have an alcohol trigger. And we know that alcohol is poison, but some people choose to have a little bit of alcohol because they like it, makes them feel good, and they do it maybe once a week. But if that's your trigger and you can't stop to the point of damage, then you need to know that that's your trigger and not have even a drop in your mouth because you have an addiction to alcohol. Not everybody does. Just like not everybody has an addiction to sugar the way I do. Okay, sugar is addictive, but some people are maybe hyper addictive like I am. I can't even, I'm, I'm serious. If I just taste it, that's it. That's it for the next three days. I, I bargain with myself. How can I get more? Oh, it's, um, it's, it's allulose. Oh, it's monk fruit. I can, I could do it. It's healthy. And then, you know, three weeks go by and I put so much of this in my body. It's not healthy. It really isn't. So uh, what is your trigger? Find what your weakness is, your kryptonite. Identify it and take steps to 
not let that control you, not let that put the wrench in the works and screw up your wonderful way of eating that you've had a lot of success with. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, find your trigger and identify it and make yourself a better person by knowing that. Eat well, ladies and gentlemen, so that you can look and feel well, which is the proper human diet. I believe it to be beef, lamb, pork, poultry, fish, and eggs. It can be other meats that come from other ruminant and non-ruminant animals, but those are the common ones that I have in the United States of America where I live when I go grocery shopping. I cook in butter and beef towel that is grass finished you know, grass raised, grass finished, that has almost no linoleic acid in it. I don't even cook in the other oils anymore. I love this way, but you do what works for you. I tweaked it. I made it work for me. You find out what works for you and know your triggers. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day.